Hey guys, this is JJ. I'm gonna talk about the differences between a fighting stance, like a karate style fighting stance versus a boxer stance. Again, this is in uh, my own system that I've created um, and I have a differentiation between the two. And sometimes it's really hard and difficult to see or trying to explain. So, in a lot of traditional karate stances, their fighting stances, um, like in Kempo, we had a fighting horse where the front toe aligned with the back heel as we came down here, and it's very sideways. Now, this here minimizes the target, right? Me as a target for my opponent. So that's why we have this sideways stance, okay? Problem is like this here, it's a transitional stance, but I'm very sideways. A lot of my weapons on the back end are too far to actually make a difference and to use on an attack. So it has further to travel, save for a reverse punch, even from the cheek, still has to come way out here, all right? So in JKD, they modify this stance to a 45. All right, my feet are facing 45, on the balls of my feet, okay? So then the distance from here to here, from here to my target is actually less than say all the way back here, all right? So I like to use this stance um, when I'm in the long range or middle range and I have to defend and if I need to turn to cover and minimize the target that somebody's trying to hit. Now, I like to use a boxer stance in the short and close range. Now with a boxer stance, we take that heel toe alignment and we line it up close here. I like calling this a boxer stance because right from here, my fists have the same distance to move because my, my shoulders are square. And if you remember from my last video, that short distance depends on where I can try to hit or where they're gonna hit me with say, their fist or whatever weapon, right? And of course, again, this is an unarmed, the other person doesn't have a knife or a um, or any other weapon, this is just hand to hand. Here, I can defend a lot quicker and I can shoot either way. Now again, knees are slightly bent all the time for here in the Basha stance. We use a lot of quick stances and quick movements for our pivots, knees are always bent. We don't ever lock because this lock position doesn't really give you that much. Um, that much reinforcement, which is usually from the 45. So you can actually lock it out here and reinforce one of your strikes, okay? But from here, we're throwing like jabs and crosses. You can still pivot with that soft, soft bow, jabs, cross. When we do our hooks, it's all right here. Hook, hook, right? Something important to remember for those stances is generally your feet are gonna point in the direction of the force of the strike. So if I'm punching forward, right? If I'm punching forward, I can pivot slightly because my feet are pointing forward this way. That's where it's reinforcing a push forward, right? For my hooks, if I'm hooking and I pivot off this front hook, right? It's actually here. You don't wanna go this way. I pivot here my foot pivots to the side because the force of me entering into their body is going in this direction, okay? A lot of people try to throw hooks, hooking around here, but they lose all that power because they don't have any torque behind it. That's where this comes in. So you do the opposite side. My foot pivots to go in the direction that I want that force to go into. Now, if I'm shooting at a 45, coming in through their body, through their floating rib, not coming this way, I'm actually going straight. It's a different way to throw a hook where it's a low, low body strike instead of a looping. I can go loop in straight, All right? Same thing with uppercuts. From here, if I'm dropping down, there are different ways to throw an uppercut. I particularly like one where it pivots, uh, pivots down here and, or excuse me, you drop your shoulder and lift right up the center, right underneath the chin. You can throw uppercuts to the body coming down here, but again, depends on where you're shooting in. All right, it's going up under the chin, straight up the middle, okay? My foot's coming up on that pivot. 
I'm aiming towards that center, right? If you point, if you draw a line from here to here, it's right where my knuckles are coming up, okay? Right where my knuckles are coming up. That's the direction my feet are going. Because I'm not turned to the side this way, I'm actually here, so I hit those two knuckles right underneath. And I can go 45 this way, 45 this way, versus up front here. Depends on which way you want to do, okay? So again, if I'm closing distance, where my start out as is in my 45 to minimize the target in case they want to throw, pull out any weapon um, that they're going to throw at me or um, to minimize that target, but still give me enough to where I can actually close distance. When I close distance, I'll actually close in and if I'm in the short range where I can hit their body and head, I change and transition. Now I'm here versus out here. It's a very small difference between the two, but it allows me faster movements right from here. All these moves tight and even coming into say close range, right? Where their elbow can hit me and I can throw in strikes at certain areas and still make a difference on them. So again, difference between say fighting stance versus a boxer stance. Again, small movement, right? If we're going fighting stance to boom, to a boxer stance, pulls it in tight. I can even throw one, two, and I'm in, right? One, two, and I'm in. I'm still on the ball, my, balls of my feet. We still, still stay light, right? Two, all right? Uh, the other thing to mention is if you're doing any straight shots, as fast as it goes out is as fast as your strike comes back, back in. So. You don't want to be in here, whether, whether you're doing a jab off of your 45 or in here, you don't want to go fast and slow. Okay, it's as fast as it comes out, boom, comes back in. Fast as it goes out, boom, comes back in. Out, back in, snap. Now there are different ways to throw your strikes too. That'll be a whole other conversation, but how you hit, um, depending on where you want, or depending on what you're trying to achieve, a lot of times, in tight here, same thing with the knees, being loose and quick. That's what you want inside here, reinforce with your body, okay? Uh, so yeah, that is the differences between a fighting stance, usually between a long, middle, and short range versus a boxer stance, which is meant for tighter engagements. And again, you can cover in different ways for that, okay? Hope you guys uh, got something out of that. Good luck training.